Hi, I'm Joy Carpine Kazanti with the Washington State Department of Transportation. And we are here today on this sunny October day in Aberdeen as we float out six more pontoons for the new State Route 520 floating bridge. Today's float out is the third of six construction cycles planned for Aberdeen. To date, we've completed 18 pontoons here and 20 more in Tacoma for a total of 38 pontoons overall. This float out process actually began last night when crews opened small sluice gates at the front of the basin. This allowed water from the Chehalis River to enter the basin. Beginning at 6 a.m., crews began lifting the first of three 50-ton gate sections at the front of the basin. About two hours later, the last piece was lifted and the pontoons were nearly ready to float out. The first pontoon to leave the basin was pontoon O, followed by three more 360-foot long longitudinal pontoons and two smaller supplemental pontoons. As you can see, pontoon float out is an enormous undertaking, requiring more than 70 workers for all phases of the process. These pontoons will remain in Grays Harbor for inspections by WashDOT and the floating bridge contractor. Later on, they'll be towed to Lake Washington to be assembled to form the floating foundation of the new 520 bridge. Thank you for joining me here today to learn a bit more about the pontoon float out process. Goodbye.